the things that I just want to share um, on behalf of Power Up is that we are here for the Soto family and whatever it is that they need at any time. This isn't something that, based off of this information that was recently um, um, made known to us by the by Gdansky, this isn't something that, that is going to be easy for the family to heal from or to get over. The other two things that I wanna touch upon is the first thing, um, because they knew he had a history of mental health issues, if I am in labor and I am needing someone to help me while I'm in labor, I'm not gonna go to a podiatrist. I'm not gonna call a car mechanic. I'm not gonna call a dentist. In fact, when I go to the hospital and I tell the hospital, hey, I'm in labor, they're not gonna call a neurosurgeon. They're gonna say, we need to get somebody from labor and delivery. We're gonna need to get an OBGYN. And so for me, if you take that kind of mentality when it comes to healthcare, and if a hospital were to send a neurosurgeon to a pregnant woman stating she's in labor and saying she's having complications with her labor, they would be at fault if that woman died and if that baby died. And to me, I think it really is just that simple. He had a known, we're not talking about an unknown history of mental health. We're talking about a known history of mental health. And so once that was communicated, even before SWAT or Talent County's version of SWAT Crest arrives, you would think that they would go into it, handling it with a lot more care and concern. And they did it. They failed this family. They failed the community. They have again failed the black and brown community. And we're here to say as Power Up, which leads me to my second point, that we are calling Power Up, I speak only for Power Up, for the resignation of the DA, Matthew Gdansky. That is what we are asking for. There was no care and concern, in my opinion, in the investigation 